night in Kobe Pro Wrestling, we take a look at all the action that took place in 2013. Hello Nation, welcome to another episode of Kobe Pro Wrestling, I'm Juan Antonio Acevedo and tonight right here we'll be reliving the best of 2013, a year full of action right here in Kobe Pro Wrestling. 2013 started with A+, Aiken Pembroke establishing himself as the face of Kobe Pro Wrestling, as every opponent so short while trying to take the heavyweight title from him. Meanwhile, the Bay City Thrashers were off to a rocky start and were unsuccessful at regaining the tag titles. This led to the end of what was named the best tag team of 2012. And it also led to a match in All or Nothing 7 to see who was the better man. Oh, there you go. That'll shut him up. That was the lead. Look at this. The bell has been rung, and so is Louis G. Rich's bell. Really? Yes, I went there. Oh, no, you did. Louis G. Rich coming off the ropes, though. Crossbody Come on. catches Come on. him. Brandon Bishop catches him. There you go. Come on, Louis. There we go. There we go, Louis. That's why I used to wrestle of the millennium right there. Brandon Bishop now stopping after Lewis G. Rich on the outside. Oh, big right here. Get hand. it in the ring, Richie. Get it right here. But now fighting back Lewis G. Rich. These two men trading blows this grudge match Makes right here cry. at All or Nothing 7. Makes me cry. Would you like a Kleenex? No. I'm a little emotional right now. I hate to see this, but like I said, Brandon's got to learn his lesson. Well, I'm liking to see this because Brandon Bishop is teaching Lewis G. Rich a He's lesson a, right now. Look. Fist. Let's hear that again. Way. Let's hear that again. That was awesome. No. Calm down, Howie. Do it again. Do it again. No. Hey. <laughs> I liked it. Brandon Bishop now going after Lewis G. Oh, but Lewis G. Rich with that knee right to the face. Now running for him. Takes Brandon Bishop right back down to the floor. Oh, no, Louis, here we go. Louis here G. Rich. We go. Louis is flying. Oh. oh, and dives on Brandon Bishop right to the floor. Look at Louis fly. You are, Louis. You are. No. I, I'm sorry. No. The crowd is so disrespectful to Lewis. Wrestler of the millennium. There we go. He's pounding away now on the back of Brandon Bishop. Classic Lewis right there. Classic. Big back elbow. Beautiful elbow. Ooh. Flat back sent on to As Brandon Bishop. Hook his two, leg to cover one, two, two, and three. Nope. You were wrong again. Can we seriously get some younger referees? Don't be making fun of Richie White. He'll come over and He's old. crack you across the face. No. Now, Brandon Bishop has yeah. loose. Oh, no. Lucia Rich able to maneuver no. out. No, that's brains. Oh, no. Let's see you maneuver out of that one. Cover. Kick out, Louie. Kick out. Kick out, Louie. There we go. Two count. Two. Two. I don't like the fingers you use to count to two. It was a two count, a two count. And the Bishop, Ooh. oh! Massive knee to the midsection of Louis G. Rich. Louis G. Rich goes off the ropes Ooh. again. Another knee, now winds up that arm, hooks him. 
A oh, beautiful neck breaker. And these two guys know each other, each other so well. But I'm still pulling for Louis to teach Brandon a lesson. Come on, Brandon. Come on, Louis. Brandon. Louis. Brandon. Louis. Brandon. I'm not doing this all night with you. Yes, you are. Because guess what? God, we have a job to do. Where is he? Alan Cross just lost. Now Lewis G. Rich whips off Brandon Bishop. Oh, that's a beautiful leg lariat. Beautiful leg lariat. I will, of course it I'm, is a beautiful leg lariat. It's well, by Tushy Rich. But it wasn't beautiful enough. It was gorgeous. And I think I used to call Brandon my friend. What's wrong with you? He betrayed us. He us. betrayed Lewis, his best friend for 15 years. What was this us? Us. There we go. I like to think Brandon Bishop found a light. He needs to find a light. Go through the tunnel. Take hey. left and Albuquerque hey. and keep on going. Hey! There we go. Beautiful head fight. Classic Lewis. It's all wrapped up. Now Lewis is off the opposite corner, but reversal. Brandon Bishop comes off. Oh, big move right to the face of Lewis G. Rich. That was not all. Awesome. Lewis is too pretty to take Lewis in the face. Come on, Lewis. Oh, kick out. Beautiful not kick out. Only got a two count. Really? <laughs> Referee Richie White saying it was that close. It was that close. It could have been over in just mere seconds, and it wasn't. Come on, Lewis. Now, oh! Driving shoulder first into the midsection, Lewis G. Rich now comes off the official. Big elbow to the back of the head. There's something illegal about that. Number one, two, and yes. Ah. Way to go, Louis. It's going to take more than that to beat the rest of the millennium. And I think Brandon Bishop knows how to do it. Why? Well, no, Louis They've known each other for him. 15 years. Who else could take out Louis G. Rich yes. if not somebody who's known him for 15 yes, years? Yes, but Brandon was Louis' coat man. He brought his coat out to the ring. He escorted him to the his ring coat when man. he came into Covington. Louis taught everything Brandon knows, but he didn't teach him everything Louis knows. So now, watch. Look, that's it. One. Oh, oh wait a minute. Come on. Hey, ref, ref, get in there. Ref, ref you have to stop it. Yeah. Oh, he who's in there? I really don't like Louis G. Rich. I love Louis. You're the only person in this building who likes Louis no, G. Rich. No CEO loves Louis G. Rich. I'm sure this breaks his heart too, but they had. Oh! oh. Ow! A move Ow. they used to do as a tag team. Lewis is right, wish. Oh. Now targeting the leg of Brandon Bishop. And it's intelligent. Look, take the big man down. It is very smart wrestling. I'm not taking anything away from the wrestling ability of Lewis G. Rich. I just don't like him personally. He's a little uh, bit he of a... He doesn't like you personally. He's a bit of a jerk. And so are you, actually. I'm proud to be a jerk. You're wearing sunglasses inside, dude. The glare off your head. Just tearing away now at the leg and knee of Brandon Bishop, but he got he has the rope. He's got to the count of five. He broke before five. See, all legal. But it isn't right. He couldn't see that Brandon had the rope. Are you kidding me? Really? His vantage point, he couldn't see it. Now whips him off into the opposite corner. Here comes Lewis G. Rich. Ooh. Flying butt butt now comes off the ropes. Oh, big running knee. Beautiful knee. That's it. Pin him, Louis, it's all over. Body cover, one, two. Sorry. Yes! It wasn't oh. enough! Yes! Brandon Bishop able to kick out, Come that was on, awesome! Louis. Come on, Brandon! Oh, now the fans want to cheer for him. A couple months That's ago. That's right, Brandon! Brandon, let's hear it! See? Now Brandon fighting off Lewis G. Rich. Oh, he's like, no. There we go. It ain't gonna happen. Lewis G. Rich, what's he setting him up? Big. Let's go. 
Climbing up slowly to that top turnbuckle. Can we see a... a Oh, wait a minute. No. Suplex, That's it. This, well, if he hits this, this is it. And it's oh! Oh! Well, the thing about a superplex is it takes energy out of both competitors. This was a risky, risky move by Lewis G. Rich. And does he have it in him to capitalize on this? Of course this? he's got it in him. He's the wrestler of the millennium. But right now, both on, men Lewis. are down. Just roll him over. Put your arm across him. That's it. There you go. There you go. Has him covered. That's One, it. It's all over. Two, it's no. Come on. Not enough, Louie. I swear, when CEO does take over the company tonight, we're getting new refs. That's it. I'm done. There is he gives a, up, Brandon. a chance that CEO is going to walk away with the ownership of this company. A chance? Who's he got to beat, Mr. C? He's tapping out. Oh, that is he's not tapping a tap. out. He's, he's feeding, tapping out. He's taking he's in the energy out. from the crowd here in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. He's fighting off Lewis G. Rich. Those shots to the midsection. Oh, now. Now he has Lewis no, G. Rich up. No. Where's he going to take him? He does. No! Yes! Oh, the DDT! Yes! But does he have enough to capitalize? No, he does not. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the newest up-and-coming star of Cover Pro Wrestling. Your Saturday Night Delight, Brown Sugar Jones. I ain't always been the nicest guy, so I always depend on my friends, whether Holt's bonding, to have my back. Now, they're located in Martinsburg, West Virginia, at 306 West Stephen Street. You can also give them a ring there on the phone, 304-267-5888. They offer affordable financing. Tell them Brown Sugar sent you. Hello, Covey Pro Nation. This is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Covey Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Come on, Brandon. Get to the ropes. Brandon, come on. Cover one. No. Two. You got Louis. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yes. 
That's my man, Louis oh. G. Rich, right there. My head can't take this anymore. Then go home. I can do this by myself. No, you can't. No. I can get somebody out of the crowd to do it better than you. These two men now slugging out back and forth. Big shots to the face. Chop. This is tension just coming out of head right here. Oh, big right hand. Oh, oh but now that forearm. Oh, and it's over. It's not over yet. It's, over. it's not over yet. It's over. Louis Gerich has been this way for a cover, and I don't think he has the energy to do it. Both men have taken a lot of punishment in this matchup. Pulling him to the middle of the ring. Leg the cover. That's it. One, One two, two. That's it. Yes! Come on! Lisa. Yes! Brandon Bishop able to kick out. Come on, Louis. Think of something, man. I think Louis G. Rich is running out of options. Wait a minute, I see that light bulb. Louis has got an idea. Is he thinking of going up? Is he thinking of going up top? He is known for his high flying acrobats. I love it. How often does Louis G. Richard go to the top? Every time. Top? Every time. He should be a cruiserweight. Oh! Well, that wasn't too pretty. But effective. And, uh, Brandon that Bishop. Hurt me. Now has Louis G. Rich perched on that top rope. Climbing up on, Louis G. Rich. I still blame it's all Brandon's fault they lost the titles. All their all Brandon's fault that I lost my match. Everything. It's all no, Brandon's Rich, fault. Rich is trying to fight him off. Oh wait a minute. Rake of the eyes. When to rake of the eyes and just push them off. Oh! oh. There we go. That's it. No! All over. It's all over. It's no, it's it. not. It it's over. No. One, no. two, three. No! Ladies and gentlemen, here is the real man. Louis G. Rich. No! Second rope. Nobody wanted us, to see that. Nobody I wanted to see, see this. Nobody I wanted to see this. Too. Nobody cares what you want. Brandon, I didn't want to see the Bay City Thrashers, one of the greatest tag teams fall apart, but Brandon had to be taught a lesson. And Louis taught him that lesson. Good job, Lewis. I am not a happy man. I'm not happy sitting next to you. What? Oh, okay, now wait a minute. No, come on. Come on. This is not cool. This, this is, is very come cool. On. No, don't. Don't do it. Oh, come on. Ring the bell. Keep ringing the bell. That's what he gets. That's what he gets. Come on, come on. No, don't do this. That's what he gets. He deserves every bit of this. Break his leg. No. Break his leg, Louis. Don't do this. Bre Look, there's no need to do this. There's, there's, absolutely there's no necessary. need to do this. What is Louis G. Rich's problem? Brandon turned his back on him. Best friends, 15 years, tag team champion. No, 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 don't, don't do this! Oh! Oh come on, we, we have to we have to get help out here. I can't believe Louis G. Rich would do something this disgusting in a wrestling ring. Shouldn't have pissed him off. From there, the rest of the millennium, Louis G. Rich became a top contender and faced opponents such as Shane Douglas. But while he was still establishing himself, others were on the path of glory. After winning the Rumble match in February wrestling for a cure show, the Suka Joe went on to face A plus Aiken Pembroke, and on April 27, 2013, he won the Kobe Pro Heavyweight Championship for a record four times. Come on, Aiken! As Yuka Joe starting down his, his competitor, the champion Aiken Pembroke now has a waist lock applied. Aiken trying to find a way out of it. Come on, champ. Trying to break through, might be looking for a standing switch, there and he go. does through a hammerlock. Switch. A standing switch. Beautiful. Switch into the headlock. See, I know my moves too. Now he's taken off the ropes. Oh, shoulder tackle. Neither man moves. Come on, champ. 
Pembroke comes off again. Bazooka Joe's not going anywhere. Now, listen to the crowd go wild for Bazooka Joe. What is, what is Aiken doing? He's, he's asking the referee to give him a minute. Is, is this? He's asking the referee to check his mouth, make sure he's not bleeding. Is that the kind of support that you give him in the back? Really? Yes. Okay. Not. Bazooka Joe now with solid elbows right to the face. We put him off with reversal for making Pembroke. Good job, champ. In comes Pembroke. Ooh. Oh, big splash. I taught him that. And now driving Bazooka Joe's head face first into that top turnbuckle. Oh, just rank, rank and ref. No, what are you doing? He's showing him the ropes. He's showing him the ropes. He's the champ. A little too up close. Trying to teach him that it's his ring. And his eyes raked out. He was showing him how nice the ropes are, how, how tight they are. Zuka Joe now being blatantly choked in front of the referee by your champion. My champ. Your champion. Your champion too. Not mine. He's everybody's champion. Now he comes taking member. Oh, there you go. Oh. Because the man who I know is going to be my champion, Bazooka Joe, was really? smart enough to get out of the way. That's two. Come on, champ. And now, oh. We can make him Pembroke down hard, and attack, chopping him down. Bazooka Joe, the big man, bringing down the champion for a third time. Fist. These are closed fists. But not a singular closed fist. Yeah, it's still closed fist. That makes it a double axe handle. Come on, champ, kick out. Now cover one. There we go. Not enough to keep him down. Oh, oh. See, there's the intelligence of the champ right there. Mm -hmm. Or just straight dumb luck. There's nothing dumb about Aiken Pepper. That luck was dumb. Shut up, Howie. Aiken now trying to measure Bazooka Joe, just waiting for him to get back up to his feet so he can do this. Beautiful double axe hand in the back of the neck. Aiken jaw jacking a little bit with the crowds here in Berkeley Spring. It might not be the smartest thing to do. Berkeley Springs, excuse me, plural. Can't win the battle of the cat out. Solid right hands to the that face of Bazooka Joe. Hand. Palm thrust to the face. What palm? There were knuckles involved. There was not knuckles involved. The champ climbs in. Good job, champ. Bazooka Joe on the floor. Out. How fast with Pat? Look at taking a breather. Hall of Famer, come on. Oh, Aiken telling him to stay down. He should. Oh, but wait a minute, Bazooka Joe has a hold of Aiken Pembroke, Whoa. and he's going to bring him down. And you want that man to be your champ? Hey, yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. Look, he's standing up in the crowd. Don't oh, take wait, him go. Take him straight to the bleachers. Don't do that. Those fans, God knows what they have. Fans, you might want to watch out as the action goes on to the floor. Security, get over there and protect the champ. Let's hear it from Azuka Joe as he brings him down. Protect the champ, security. Down, 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 down. Bazooka Joe now stalking after the champion. Yeah, world-class champ right there, Bazooka Joe. There's another reason he was thrown out of the inner circle as well. I think he left. I think he was tossed. Now, oh, there you go. Shoulder first into that ring post. That is a solid steel ring post. Come on, champ. Now Bazooka Joe go, going for kick a couple of legs. One, two. Oh. Yes. Beautiful kick out. Pembroke able to kick out. What was he going for? Oh, look at the height of that elbow drop. Kick out, champ. There we go. Don't worry, Bazooka Joe has this. Bazooka Joe has the capability. He's been the champion before. He'll do it again he right here tonight. A fluke, a multiple time fluke. 
Yes, a multiple time food. Multiple time food. How many times did he hold that bell? Three times? And look where he was at when he held that bell. He was in the inner circle. He was not going to win tonight. He to win tonight. And now he's better for not being a part of them anymore. He has to trust himself and his own instinct. He doesn't have to rely on the cheating. You might be hearing yourself, yeah, here, the crowds Charlie. are definitely behind Bazooka Joe here tonight. Well, Charlie Brown's behind Bazooka Joe, and that's but one thing you just don't want to have. Egan delivering some blows on, to Bazooka Aiken. Joe, comes off. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. There oh, we go. Oh, that's it. Of, oh. What was that? That was a pin. Oh, and that now, was a look, takedown. That's a close fist. Look, that's illegal. That's Kick not illegal. Pit. One, two. Hey, hey. I'm going to hit Charlie Brown with something. You need to behave yourself over here at the comments. I'm behaving myself. We're watching a world heavyweight title match right now, and Bazooka Joe is kicking the butt of Aiken Pembroke. Well, Aiken Pembroke had to make the draw. I didn't think I need to worry about anything. I had a chance. Coming off, hold the hold. Look at that. Beautiful. Aiken Pembroke put the brakes. Aiken Pembroke put on the brakes of that bulldog and able to toss off Bazooka Joe. Another, another move somebody tried to steal from me. You do, uh, never mind. As Aiken Pembroke continues to stomp away Put now. Put the boots to him, champ. Am I getting annoying cutting you off all the time? A little bit. It happens. Quite right? a little bit. Now cover us, cover us. There we go. Beautiful off the knee. Would you like to say what that was again as he whips in Bazooka Joe into the opposite corner? In comes Aiken Pembroke. No, oh, double knee. Nice double knee to the chest. Just sandwiching Bazooka Joe over in that corner. He rolls him over to his back. Come over. One, two, three. Come on. Ooh. Dose. Do. Knee. It is two. Come on, champ. You got this. Look, Bazooka Joe's tapping out. Come on. Come on, Aiken, you got this, man. Travis, Travis. Now, Aiken Pembroke coming off the ropes once again. Bazooka Joe is reeling. Doesn't yeah. steal the ball. That's it, it's over. That's it. Okay, it's, Count, it's, 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 it's over. It can't end like One, this. It cannot two, end three. like that was it. Oh, no! Come on! Bazooka Joe is able to kick out! I want to see another one, Aiken. Come on, Bazooka Pat, Joe! You can't count. Come on, Aiken. No, that's it. It's over. One, two, three. No. Come on! <laughs> three! 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 three. Two. Come on, Aiken. Aiken has to be wondering what else does it take to take out Bazooka Joe? Is it going now? Dropping Joe. Oh, oh Vertebraker! breaker. No. It's up here. Up pretty. That's it. It's over. Bazooka Joe is done. He was ugly to begin with. That was it. It was all over. And who made you the referee? It was a three count. Shut up. Come on, Aiken. It's a two. What? Chance pull him out to the middle of the ring. That's it. Just roll him up. That's it. Pin. One, one, two, two, three. See, I can count. Nope. The Yet again, come on, champ. The champion doesn't have what it takes to take out Bazooka Joe. Yeah, now look at those right hands. A beautiful hand, palm thrust to the face. Closed fists. Palm thrust. Closed fists. Open hands. Calm down, champ. I think calm we need down, to make champ. those sunglasses you prescription. You got this, champ. Calm come on, Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Thanks, Joe, you can do this. Field. 
feel the chance get it. Well, hit right it. now, the people of Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, are feeling the energy of Bazooka Joe as he gets back up to his feet with a double clothesline. That double clothesline brings down both men. Referee, Hall of Famer referee, Pat Lawson, now Hall counting Famer down referee. both men. You gonna tug on his, uh, his beard, too? What? Come on, champ, stand up. You got this. You don't pull on Superman's cape. Are we gonna shot at that man's head? Come on, Aiken. <laughs> it's all yours, Aiken. Come on. Bazooka Joe goes in the ropes, get back up to his feet. Aiken Pembroke is now back up on his feet. In comes Aiken, but duck under for Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe off the ropes. Big tackle brings down Pembroke. And another tackle. Bazooka Joe. And again, bring it down. Aiken Pembroke. Flying tackle. Still, with the inappropriate, there's children in the crowd. Come on, Aiken. Neck breaker. Kick out, Aiken. Kick out, buddy. Cover one, Kick out. two. No. Oh. Yes. That was a two count, Charlie. Learn how to count. We know you're from West Virginia. You can't Hey. Count. Just got to take his shoes off to count to ten. You don't discredit the good people of West Virginia. The good people of West Virginia, my boy. Anyways, come on, Aiken. I think now he has him set up. Northern Lights. Northern Lights release suplex. Now cover, hook of the leg. One. Kick out, Aiken. Two. Ah. It's gonna take more than that to get the chance. It was a two count. Two Come count. on, Bazooka Joe! Bazooka Joe wants to hear it from the people here in Brooklyn Springs, West Virginia. Let's give it to him, everybody! Bazooka Joe has hit the pimple up. Champ, there you go. Now oh, wait a minute. Distracting the referee. It's a pin. It's a pin. Yeah. Referee a little worse for wear, trying to shake it off now. But Aiken Pembroke, I always think he's going to go for that unprettier he's again. Unprettier again. Another rolls through to Bazooka Joe. Knee right to the midsection. Now Bazooka Joe picking up Aiken no. Pembroke. No. Do it. No. no. Interference. This has to be a. No. This has to be a one-two. It has to be a one-two. It has to be a one-two. Especially you, just in time. It's your new world heavyweight he champion, he Bazooka Joe. You have to I breathe in the oak. This guy sitting in the ring kissing his butt. I want, I want, you know what? I like how much that sound. I want to say it again. Your new world heavyweight champion of Kami Pro Wrestling. Bazooka Joe! <laughs> and ever since Bazooka Joe has been able to remain the Kobe Pro Heavyweight Championship up to this day by defeating opponents such as Cal Craven and even the star of the show, just in time. Nation, it's time for a quick commercial break, but do not move from your seat because this special show still has a lot more to come.
Hello, Covey Pro Nation. This is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Covey Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Lewis G. Rich here. As a former Covey Pro Tag Team Champion, there's nothing I won't do to get my tag title back, which sometimes means things that are outside of the law. But I never worry because I know I can always call Eric S. Black, Attorney at Law. That's Eric S. Black, Attorney at Law. 304-258-2931. So remember, when you see the blue, call the black. Hello again, you're watching Kobe Pro Wrestling. 2013 saw the birth of a new championship as the television title debuted on April 27. It was Big John Green who had the honor of being the first TV champion ever after defeating Alan Cross. He carried the title with pride until he ran into Louis G. Rich who took the title from him on October 12. And just a month before that, they faced each other during the Dave Duncan Memorial Cup, a tournament where the modern day Warriors went on to the finals and won the prestigious trophy. However, they could not gain the titles the month after, and it was Rockin' and Rolling who walked out of homecoming as new tag team champions. Later on, both of the modern day Warriors will retire from Covey Pro Wrestling. Nation, it's time for another quick commercial break, but when we come back, we'll take a look at what was the most competitive division right here in Covey Pro Wrestling.
Hi, I'm Tabitha, the manager of Technopanaki at LLC. We specialize in large, dangerous trees, removal, stump grinding, we knock them and drop them. Tech Knockout also specializes in landscaping, landscaping designs. We have been taking care of business in Northern Virginia for over 17 years. We offer 24 hour emergency storm damage. Call us today for your free estimate. 154 717 5189. In 2013, the Kobe Pro Women's Division was very competitive and featured more matches than ever before in Kobe Pro history. It also had more champions in one year than ever before. The rivalry between Mary Elizabeth Hatfield and Jesse Bell McCoy carried from 2012 to 2013. The Hatfield vs McCoy rivalry was however briefly interrupted as Nyla Rose took the title from Mary Elizabeth on August 17. Nyla Rose's title run was very short as Mary Elizabeth regained the title a month later. When Jesse Bell injured Nyla Rose during a match, that day Mary Elizabeth won the title for a record setting three times. Becoming the toughest woman in the Kobe Pro locker room and taking on opponents such as Amber Rodriguez. Oh, that just disgusts me hearing you say it. As well as every time I hear that music come over the speakers, I just get a little sick of myself. Of course, the Tug Fort Valley, she's part of the legendary Hatfield family from West Virginia. They're known for uh, fighting and brawling with the McCoys there, Donnie. They are known for brawling with the McCoys, and she owes that title to a McCoy. Going to be interesting to see how she handles Amber Rodriguez, newcomer here to Covey Pro, making her debut tonight. And boy, would she love to leave Frederick, Maryland with the Covey Pro Women's Championship. That would be quite a feather in her cap, Donnie. I think indeed, and she's got, she's got the potential to do it. I believe in her. I believe in this Amber Rodriguez. She's scrappy. She's from New York. She obviously knows how to handle herself, as evident by the switchblade planted by Richie. Well, I tell you what, this. Amber Rodriguez, very highly recommended. Glad we got her into Covey Pro. A lot of tough, top female competitors making their way to Covey Pro for that Covey Pro Women's Championship. Covey Pro, you know, you get TV exposure here. The TV show on WJL is in 1.3 million homes every Saturday night, Donnie. As well on LA TV Saturdays at 12 o'clock in Spanish. So a lot of TV exposure. A lot of great talent coming in, a lot of competition for this women's championship, Donnie. The competition for the women's title is indeed high. You know, I'm talking about that little the word, Nyla Rose. She's going to be coming back to us before long. She is rehabbing that knee right now. And you got to think, she's got a score to settle with Mary Elizabeth. Some of the toughest and most beautiful women ever to grace the squared circle compete. Here in Covey Pro, and two of them are in the ring right now competing for the Covey Pro Women's Championship. Oh, as Amber man. Rodriguez oh, puts on a little display for the crowd here in Frederick. I don't know what they thought of that, but I enjoyed it. I want to see more of it. Mary Elizabeth able to take advantage, has her in a front face lock now. See what we can uh, see what she can do with her. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be able to do anything. I want to see some more, some more athleticism out of. Uh, Amber in there. I want to see Amber, you know, work some of those moves she just had. There she goes, holding on to the ropes, forcing Mary Elizabeth to break it. Well, good ring presence on the part of Amber Rodriguez. Don't discount Amber Rodriguez. She's plenty crafty. Crowd seems to be behind Mary Elizabeth Hatfield here in Frederick. Let's hear it. Well, they're trying to get a Mary chant going here. I hope that one does. Lord knows I don't want to hear a Mary chant go over the arena. You know, Amber Rodriguez being a newcomer, I don't think the Cubby Proof fans quite know what to uh, make of her yet, Donnie. No, not yet. Oh, there you go. I tell you what, very opportunistic, uh, very clever on the part of Amber Rodriguez to see. She hooks both legs, two. I tell you what, just one count away from being the new Cubby Pro Women's Champion, Donnie. Indeed she was, and that one count might have happened had Richie been a little quicker on the take. And she's just got to bring it home right here. 
She is putting a beating on Mary Elizabeth. You gotta wonder how much can she take. And she's gonna lock her into a camel clutch right now. Campbell Clutch, Shades of the Iron Sheik, Donnie. Shades of the Iron Sheik, indeed, but no, no, you can't let her get up. Mary Elizabeth, got that power. I don't like the looks of this at all, Cody. I don't like it. Oh, she was able to break it, Donnie. She held on just a bit too long. All right, let's see what we can do here. I don't know who's really got uh, control here, has the advantage. Amber Rodriguez, variation of an Irish whip. Shoulder tackle by Mary Elizabeth. Uh, shoulder tackle, and Amber went down hard. Oh, nice drop kick to the back by Mary Elizabeth Hatfield. Let's see what else she can do with her. Oh, follows it up with a drop kick to the chin. Cover, one. You gotta do more than that. Only a one count. Well, Amber's showing that great presence of mind again. She is. Streets up. She bells out of the ring. She's taking a breather. And she knows exactly what she's doing. Just bide your time out there, Amber. Wait for that opening. Six count already. I tell you what, she doesn't watch it. She's going to get herself counted out here, Donnie. I think she's too smart to let that happen. And now she's lured Mary Elizabeth right where she wanted. You see that? That is that New York smarts coming out right there in Amber. Amber Rodriguez going to work on Mary Elizabeth Hatfield. Boy, I felt that kick all the way over here, Donnie. Uh, those kicks into the spine. And now a diving lariat. Cover, hooks the leg, two, oh, oh two and a half, Donnie. That close, so I tell you what, Mary Elizabeth, she better get on her A game here if she wants to hold on and walk out of here with the Cubby Pro Women's Championship, Donnie. Indeed she does, but Amber, there we go, there's the move we wanted to see. Now she's trying to roll her over and look at that, ramming Mary Elizabeth's head into the canvas. Isn't there a dance in South America that's similar to that, Donnie? What's that called? I'm not exactly sure what that's called. I'm sure Juan could tell us what that's called. We'll have to ask uh, Mr. Juan Acevedo after this match. What would we call that maneuver? Laying the boots to Mary Elizabeth. And you know, Amber Rodriguez, she's in a great position right here. She needs to just finish it off. She was a heroine for finishing it off a moment ago. Got her on the ropes now, literally, Donnie. Breaks it before the count of five to keep her getting disqualified. She can't win the title via disqualification. Oh, look at those long legs extended up under the throat. It's trying to take the air out of Mary Elizabeth. And, oh, I heard that chop, Cody. I think I felt that chop over here. Well, now I'm filling those right hands from Mary Elizabeth. Reversal on the Irish whip. Big clothesline. And Amber's still in control as she's rolling her up. Two count um, only. Once again, I gotta think that's Richie's fault. And so does Amber, see? They well, agree with me. I'll tell you what, the crowd here in front is gonna have to will Mary Elizabeth back into this. I don't think they've got enough to will her back into this as she is getting owned by newcomer Amber. Amber Rodriguez showing she's got what it takes to be that Cubby Pro Women's Champion.
Fantastic. Go ahead and let's make that up. Fox's Pizza, 304-258-8000. They do deliver. 304-258-8000. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Let's open that up. Stay here and open that up with me. Oh, that's definitely a pizza for Big John Green. Fox's Pizza is a proud sponsor of Covey Pro Wrestling and a major ticket outlet. I hear some merry chants starting here in Frederick. Reversal. Oh. A bulldog on Amber Rodriguez at the hands of Mary Elizabeth. And I don't think that's no. Two count only. And right back to the pin. Oh, Amber back in control, ramming Mary Elizabeth's head right into that unforgiving canvas. Big forearm shot for Amber. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Oh, DDT, I think that's it. I don't know if she got all of it. I don't think she got all of it. I think Amber could still make it out. No, Two count does. only. That's some heart right there. That is that New York scrappy fighter. That street mentality coming out right now. Amber, uh, she's got to stay out of the way of those very little elbows and that big double axe handle. Hey, um, Richie should be breaking this up right now. Yeah, I think Richie White's lost a little bit of control of this one. It seems they both want it, and there we go. I tell the you what. Street smarts again. I am thoroughly impressed by Amber Rodriguez. Hell of a match for the women's championship. Hell of a match. Shut her up. Oh, variation of a Mickey Nookle driver. I guess we'll call it a Hatfield driver. Two, three, she got her. the part of Amber Rodriguez, but Mary Elizabeth retains the Cubby Pro Women's Championship tonight in Frederick. You know, with the Mishinoku driver, as you said, it also called the Falcon Arrow until they're on the game. I can't believe it, you know, great showing, though. You gotta give it to Amber Rodriguez. I do think she's got a bright future here in Cubby. She took the chance to the limit. Virginia, Mary Elizabeth Hatfield, walking out of Maryland tonight victorious. Well, she got lucky. That's all I'm going to say about that, Cody. She got lucky. And could have had her right there when she wanted her so many times. She's going to cross the Potomac back into West Virginia territory with the women's title. Let's hear it one more time for Mary Elizabeth
Wall Nation, and that's it for me this week. Thank you so much for watching Kobe Pro Wrestling. And in name of the Kobe Pro family, I want to wish all of you a happy new year.